Tim, being here with you. It's the greatest feeling I've had in a really long time. Friday Night Lights, where would Tyra and Tim be today? Well, here's the thing, I have a pitch. <gasps> I think it would be great to restart the show, but instead of, you know, Tammy Taylor and Coach Taylor, we are the new Tammy and Coach. No, I'm thinking more along the lines of um, Mrs. T. I can see that. It's gonna be a little bit more like crazy because he's still gonna be Tim Riggins and I'm still gonna be Tyra Collette. Married, mm -hmm. I'm the counselor, he's the football coach, he's still a little bit of an alcoholic. How many kids do Tyra and Tim have? too many. Obviously they'd have to be football players. Yeah. What would it take to get that to happen? I mean, have you been in touch with any of the writers? Have you talked to Taylor Kitsch? Call Pete Berg. Pete Berg. Yes, this is what we're doing. I have dreams, Tim. Adrian Palicki is ready for a Friday Night Lights spin-off, but right now she stars in the new rom-com Baby, Baby, Baby. And she's filming her upcoming Seth MacFarlane series, Orville. It's a comedy. It's set in space. Um, it's actually, it's, it's a dramedy. You have a lot of heart in the show. It's it's unlike anything I think mm -hmm. he's ever written. Um, it has a Star Trek aspect to it, but it's fun and you have these, uh, these two characters um, who are exes, ah. who are forced to work together on a spaceship. You have a little bit of that Ross and Rachel thing happening. Uh, so what's that like to kind of spar with him in that way? Oh, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Like, Does I, he I just love make you laugh? laugh? Yes, all the time. Yeah. And angry. All the things. So it works out perfectly. Adrian also got candid about her 2011 Wonder Woman series that never aired. Do you feel like it was before its time? I absolutely think it was two years early. My biggest dream ever was to get paid to wear that costume. It was phenomenal. It was devastating when it didn't go. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, it's, it's worked itself out. But at the time, it was devastating. Have you seen Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman? I have not, and it's not out of any bitterness or anything <laughs> like that. I just haven't. Would you ever want to get back into the comic world? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I that world is my world. I want to play Rogue. So emotional. She couldn't kiss. You know, she couldn't touch. It was just so sexy.